Lord our God, we praise you for your Son, Jesus Christ. He is Emmanuel, the hope of all peoples. He is the wisdom that teaches and guides us. He is the Saviour of every nation. O oh God, let your blessing come upon this community gathered here before you. Bless, Bless us, us and this, this Advent, Advent wreath. wreath. May the light that shines forth from it illuminate our way as we journey through Christmas. May the light that shines forth from it illuminate our lives as we wait in hope for the birth of the Christ child. We, we ask, ask this through Christ, Christ who, who is the light of the world. The world. Amen. Amen. This Christmas, millions of people can't be at home, can't be at loved ones, forced out by darkness of violence and fear and the Covid virus. People are seeking safety and refuge. As we light the candles on our Advent wreath, we pray for all organisations, all groups, all governments who seek to light the way out of poverty, darkness, and illness. Let us pray. As winter days dim and bow to early darkness, you, God of light, set watch in the night sky and beckon the wise to follow. When hope hangs low in the human heart, you, loving creator, kindle compassion breathing life into the early embers of change and empathy. We light a candle for hope, sending prayers high into the inky heavens and dreams deep into the human soul. As Advent dawns, God of hope, shine your light on the story of the saints who journeyed before us. May the seeds they planted in the world Peace, joy, love, take hold in our hearts and stretch towards the light. We light a candle for hope, may it light the way. Good morning and welcome to our service of morning prayer for this, the first Sunday of Advent. This is the first day of the church's year, so a happy new year to you all. O Lord, open our lips, and, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Give us the joy of your saving help, and, and sustain us with your life-giving spirit. We have come together in the name of Christ to offer our praise and thanksgiving, to hear and receive God's holy word, and to pray for the needs of the world, and to seek forgiveness of our sins, that by the power of the Holy Spirit we may give ourselves to the service of God. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Jesus says, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. So, let us turn away from our sin and turn to Christ, confessing our sins in penitence and faith. Lord God, we have sinned against you. We have done evil in your sight. We are sorry and repent. Have mercy on us according to your love. Wash away our wrongdoing and cleanse us from our sin. Renew a right spirit within us and restore us to the joy of your salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Father of all mercies cleanse us from our sins and restore us in his image to the praise and glory of his name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed is the Lord, for he has heard the voice of our prayer. Therefore, Shall our hearts dance for joy? And in our song we will we praise our God. Blessed are you, Lord our God, creator and redeemer of all. To you be glory and praise forever. 
From the waters of chaos you drew forth the world, and in your great love fashioned us in your image. Now, through the deep waters of death, you've brought your people to new birth by raising your Son to life in triumph. May Christ, your light, ever dawn in our hearts as we offer you our sacrifice of thanks and praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Our New Testament reading is from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 1, beginning at verse 3. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always for you because of the grace of God that has been given to you in Jesus Christ. For in every way you have been enriched in him, in speech and knowledge of every kind just as the testimony of Christ has been strengthened among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revealing of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will also strengthen you to the end, so that you may be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful. By him you are called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory, Glory to, to you, you O Lord. Lord. But in those days after that suffering, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light and the stars will be falling from heaven and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the ends of the earth to the ends of heaven. From the fig tree, learn its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts forth its leaves, you know that the summer is near. So also, when you see these things taking place, you will know that he is near at the very gates. Truly, I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But about that day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, only the Father. Beware, keep alert, for you do not know when the time will come. It's like a man going on a journey when he leaves home and puts his slaves in charge, each with his work and commands the doorkeeper to be on the watch. Therefore, keep watch, keep awake, for we do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening or at midnight or at cockcrow or at dawn, or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. And what I say to you, I say to you all, keep awake. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, you O Christ. Christ. Well, as Bruce has already wished you, a Happy New Year. Today is Advent Sunday, which marks the beginning of the Church's liturgical year. It's also the day in the year when we think about the phrase we say every week in the Nicene Creed, Christ will come again. We're now in year B and our Gospel reading from Mark reads... Then they will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory. This has inspired some amazing visual and musical images of Christ descending. But it's our reaction to that message that I want to focus on. In Mark 13 verse 34, the disciples are warned by Jesus, Be aware, keep alert, for you do not know when the time will come. This certainly seems to resonate with me in these difficult times. It's so hard to plan anything ahead as we just don't know what today, let alone tomorrow, is going to bring. I actually wrote this sermon on the 5th of November and we're now the 29th of November and heading out of a national lockdown into Tier 2. Jesus goes on to say, and what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. Now, it may be 
that you, that like me, you are not in your normal sleeping patterns. The excitation to physically keep awake feels quite easy at the moment. But Jesus is not asking us to be physically awake, but spiritually to keep awake, to be practised in our prayer, in our conversations with God. So we get more and more used to hearing his voice, to noticing God in our ordinary everyday lives. It's not easy, but studying the Bible, talking to other Christians, learning from the saints that have gone before us and being church will help with it. But in these days of lockdown and beyond, how do we continue to be the church? I think today's passage from Corinthians that Bruce read helps. Firstly, we give thanks for each other, for the way by the grace of God we have been enriched in him in speech and knowledge of every kind. Secondly, it's so important that we continue to find new ways to share how we are growing in our faith, just as the testimony of Christ has been strengthened among you, as we heard. How we share the good news of Jesus in our lives, our testimony matters. Finally, it's important that we seek to understand and receive all the spiritual gifts that God wants to give us, that our faith bestows on us, as we hear in 1 Corinthians 12. Do you... Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same spirit, and a variety of services, but the same Lord, variety of activities, but the same God who activates all of them in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the spirit for the common good. For one, the utterance of wisdom, to another, the utterance of knowledge, to another, faith, to another, gifts of healing, to another, the working of miracles, another, prophecy, another, discernment of spirits, to another, various kinds of tongues, and to another, the interpretation of tongues. All of these activated by one spirit, the same spirit, who allots to each one of us individually, just as the spirit chooses. So, are we open to receiving those spiritual gifts that God wants us to have? As we look forward to Christmas, a Christmas unlike any other, and we look forward to hearing again that birth of uh, the story of Christ's birth, let us keep alert. Let us be thankful. Let us seek to encourage them and encourage the development of spiritual gifts in ourselves and each other. And I hope as we start this new year, we have New Year's spiritual resolutions that will take us through these difficult times. Amen. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic Church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. 
in our prayers when I say, Lord of all, the world made flesh, please respond. Bring hope in your world today. Let us pray. In the power of the Spirit, let us pray to the Father through Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth and the life. We pray for all who follow the way of Christ and for the unity of all Christian people. Break down that which separates us one from another and from you, that knowing your forgiveness, we may share your love with a needy world. Lord of all, the word made flesh, bring Amen. hope to your world today. We remember with gladness how you brought hope throughout your ministry, a sense of purpose to those for whom life seemed pointless, the poor, the sick, outcasts and brokenhearted, shining light in their darkness, joy breaking into their sorrow, new beginnings and what had seemed like the end. Lord of all, the word made flesh, bring hope, hope to, to your, your world, world today. today. Hear our prayer for those who mourn, who wrestle with illness, or who watch loved ones suffer. Reach out in love and grant them your strength and comfort. Lord of all, the word made flesh, bring hope, hope to your to world, world today. today. Hear our prayer for those whose lives are blighted by injustice, crushed by oppression, poverty, hunger, and encourage all who work against the odds to build a better world. Reach out in love and grant the assurance of your coming kingdom. Lord of all, the word made flesh, bring, bring hope to your world today. today. Rejoicing in the fellowship of St. Aidan, St. Mary, St. Nathaniel, St. Luke's and St. John, and all your saints, we commend ourselves and the whole of creation to your unfailing love. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Collect for the First Sunday of Advent Almighty God, as your kingdom dawns, turn us away from the darkness of sin to the light of holiness, that we may be ready to meet in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. As we come towards the end of our service today, we come to the peace. In the tender mercy of our God, the day spring from on high shall break upon us to give, us, to give light to those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. And a final blessing. Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you. Scatter the darkness from before your path and make you ready to meet him when he comes in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you and all those you love now and always. Amen. Amen.